Welcome to this webinar. My name is Jozef Alic, and in this webinar, I will provide you with the hints and tips on how to develop a good project budget. This information should be kept in mind when designing your project proposal to be submitted in calls for proposals of the Interreg Central Europe program. In designing the project budget, we recommend to use the bottom-up approach and start planning the costs per deliverables in order to get the costs of activities, which then sum up in the work packages budget. The total budget is the sum of the partners' budgets. It is important to note that planning of the project budget should start only after the work plan is developed. This is because the budget should actually reflect the work plan, that is the deliverables, activities and outputs planned by each project partner in order to achieve the intended results. Even if the budget is inserted in application form per partner, cost categories and period only and not per work package, the budget of the project must be planned at the level of each partner and allocated to cost categories, work packages and reporting periods. Also, do not forget to plan the budget for project management and communication, even though there are no such work packages in the application form. It is to be emphasized that a bad practice is to first decide on the total budget and then distribute it to project partners and then to the respective cost categories and reporting periods. It is each partner that needs to prepare its budget and not the lead partner on behalf of the partnership because only the partners have sufficient knowledge which costs are needed. Each project partner has to select from the different budget options available, including simplified cost options before building its budget. A separate tutorial on simplified cost options is available. Now, let's talk what makes a good project budget. Firstly, it should be realistic. The words sounds, financial management, and adequacy of costs should be considered when planning the costs, so project partners have to estimate the costs, keeping in mind the principles of economy, efficiency, and effectiveness. Secondly, the project budget should be transparent in all its parts. Partners have to ensure to provide sufficient and detailed information for specific cost categories. Cost category four, external expertise and services. Cost category five, equipment expenditure. And cost category six, infrastructure and works expenditure. As already pointed out, it should be consistent. Partners have to ensure that the budget reflects the work plan. For example, if a service is planned to be purchased, it is expected to have it reflected in the budget under respective cost category. In this case, cost category four, external expertise and services, and vice versa, if there are costs under a particular cost category, it is expected to find the deliverable that refers to. Finally, the project budget should be timely. In view of the allocation of budget to reporting periods, the following elements are to be taken into consideration. First, the reporting periods run on a six monthly basis as from the project started. Second, the budget allocated to each reporting period should be an estimation of the actual payments to be done in the respective reporting period. Therefore, the budget only partly reflects the activities taking place in a certain period. Indeed, if an activity is carried out close to the end of the reporting period, the related payment may take place in the following period and the costs should therefore be budgeted only in the following reporting period. Our tip is partners should not expect to spend too much in the first reporting period because from our experience, not many payments are made during the startup phase. When building the project budget, we recommend to use a support tool outside the gems. It can be a Microsoft Excel or other tool found on the internet or other source. Tool, tools used by applicants must allow planning at the level of each partner, cost categories and reporting periods, and also the use of the simplified cost options applicable and required by the partner. Prepared 
data should then be inserted in the GEMS by the lead partner at the project partner level. The total budget in GEMS will be calculated automatically. A lump sum for preparation costs and contracting has to be included in part E of the application form for it to be reimbursed. And investments of more than 25,000 euro needs to be specified in part C of the application form. For more information on financial issues important during designing of the project proposal, please refer to the application manual, which can be found on our website. We also warmly invite you to watch our webinar on the simplified cost options. Thank you for your attention and good luck with your project proposal.